Remy? Must be our guy. You got this, you got this, you can do this. Oh my gosh. Remy? Yeah. I'm Neve. I'm L. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? And uh, this is Angel. Hmm. Is your real name Remy? No, it's not my real name. What is your name? I don't want to say it. You're really not going to tell us your name? No. Or should we just call you Remy then, I yeah, guess? Yeah, you call me Remy. You guys already know each other? Mm -mm. Oh, OK. How much of the story that you told her was true? I mean, really, everything is stuff with her. Who I am. So your girlfriend is a real person? Yeah, I got a girlfriend for real. And then why are you messing with people on Plenty of Fish? I, I don't get it. It wasn't for a relationship. It was more like a, it was a joke to me. And I made a count to see how long it'll take somebody to figure out that it was fake. That's a weird hobby. It was just something doing my downtown. So I imagine you talked to lots of people. Nah, it was just her. She was the first one to reply. I mean, you guys talked all the time. There had to be something real in that. Nah, it wasn't. Obviously, if you have a girlfriend, you're not going to come on TV and say that you had feelings for her. But like, I think it's very clear, based on the fact that you were talking as much as you were, that you guys had a relationship. You can tell me whatever you want, but like, you can't pretend for the three months that you guys were talking, it never meant something to you. It really didn't. Yeah, I, I've heard you say that already, but I don't believe it. I basically talk to you like I talk to my best friend. And I'm telling you things that nobody else knows. Like, I go through enough. And then for someone to just sit here and tell me that this is a game to you and it's not funny. I also don't believe that you have no feelings towards her. No offense, you may be a good liar, but I don't think you're that great of an actor. Something is real. I can see you kind of squirming. I know you feel bad. I feel bad a little bit, but not not enough for me to sit here and like apologize and tell her I'm wrong for everything I did. So you, you wouldn't apologize for that? No, I don't. Really? Don't you think it's pretty up to be like, I want to help you take care of your baby? I want to be there? I never took it as like, we're in like a, a committed relationship. She just wasn't catching on quick enough. Right, but if the game was to mess with people, you would have just moved on. Nah, it was still, it was interesting to see her come around the house and like not find me. Like I'd be sitting inside a car somewhere else. Where'd you get the D Jackson profile from? Found it on Facebook. You found some random person? Yeah. yeah. Sent her the kid's real profile with a different name, a different Snapchat. He lives in Chicago. I mean, like, that's a first. That's daring. You sent her the real profile. I don't know. I, I never really, I didn't take it serious. Like, I thought it was funny. What about when you told her that you slept with Mari? I didn't. When I told her, like, Mari texted me, and she wanted to plan to come over like and hook up. And I tried to warn Angel. Mari came on to me. She ended up sending me messages and videos, pictures, saying how she wanted me. Really? Yeah, talking about she wanted to pull up, talking about sex, and just like everything. But when I tried to warn Angel about it, she didn't want to believe anything I was saying. But why should we believe you? I mean, I have the messages of her trying to come over alone. Did you want to see the text messages? Yeah. All right, you go. All right, so. I had to scream, grab him. Uh, wow. OK, these texts are pretty flirty. And they definitely seem to be pictures of Mari. Did Mari know that you were not the guy in the pictures? Yeah, we FaceTimed before. And you showed your face? Yeah, she saw me. And she saw you? I set the phone up on my TV, and I stood up for a good five minutes. With your face in the yeah. camera? Wow. I thought it was something fishy of them talking at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we, t we talked almost every night, saying how she was going to do sexual acts to me. Clearly, we have some stuff to address with Mari, but it's important for you to know that you've really hurt her. Yeah, I realize that. And you've created a lot of heartache and damage in her life. And that's yeah. up. What made you change your mind about coming and meeting up today? I mean, I mean who would want to be on TV once in a lifetime? OK, I think that's it. That your part of this, of this story, I think, is over. All right.
that's over, that's over, honey. You're okay. Ooh. It sucks to feel like we came here and that it's it's not over yet. But at least you can cut him out of your life. Do you want to text Mari and see if we can meet up with her? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Hey, Angel, do you want to talk? Just you and me. OK. Yeah. Why don't you guys just talk a little bit? OK. It's just us. I'm just really upset. He was a dick. I really didn't believe most of what he said. Nobody devotes all their time like that and has those long conversations. If he doesn't care, he had to have cared somewhere, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't, you know? It's not about him anymore. Yeah. Right now, I'm worried about Mari. I have a couple questions I'd like to ask her, you know? Yeah. We've never had two hopeless hook up, an identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.